Hey, what's up guys? Travis here with Every Single Sunday. We are in the garage tonight working on the KTM 790 Adventure R. This one here is a 2020 model. It'll be the same as the 19s if you guys have one of those. Uh, so today we are going to be putting on a few things from Rottweiler Performance, like I said. The biggest thing being their new tail tidy kit. And uh, looking at this, it's pretty bitchin'. Um, it comes with all the plugs on there, so it should be a plug and play thing. You don't have to crimp anything, solder anything, shorten any wires like that. We're also going to go through and add a few other neat parts from Rottweiler Performance performance onto the bike so let's uh slide over to the bench here and take a look at what we have all right guys so like i said we will be installing rottweiler's brand new tail tidy kit for the 790 adventure r um, this unit's made out of steel here and it's uh, powder coated it looks really really nice and uh, you can go through see all the welds on it and something they're actually doing in-house then sending out to be powder coated i believe uh, the coolest thing about this is you're going to have your turn signals integrated into the side of the plate here and i believe this works as an additional brake light but you also keep the stock brake light that comes on the bike which is nice and bright um, one thing i saw like originally i was thinking about getting this and i was like yeah another part that requires wiring and cutting stuff and soldering stuff or clipping stuff but this is the coolest part about this right here i mean besides it looks great everything is pre-wired for your bike so you just literally unplug your stock stuff bolt this on with the provided hardware it comes with all really nice hardware right here good looking stainless stuff that's not going to corrode or fall apart for you so anyway should be a really quick install for this um, we're going to go over a step by step for you on how to do it and then also we're going to check this guy out right here this is also from rottweiler performance uh, focus damn you this is what they call the trans saver um, if you look at your 790 adventure and how it's set up to shift there's a big shaft that goes across the top it's electronic and there's some weird stuff so basically this makes it so you don't stand on top of your shifter and uh, jack everything up accidentally so we got that we got some other stuff for a future install this is a canister removal we got this for during the install it's rottweiler's koozie so we'll definitely check that guy out and other stuff we're going to put on is this pump guard right here basically this saves your fuel pump um, I have an AX skid plate on my bike, sorry, AXP skid plate on my bike, so it should be fine, but extra protection there, as well as an aluminum spigot for where the fuel comes out of the tank. And then, so we're probably not going to do these today, but we are going to throw this on also. Also from Rottweiler, feeling the theme today, guys. Some other stuff we got from Rottweiler, get out of the way, beer. CRG Aero ear, Ears, Mirrors. Not ears, these are not ears, they're mirrors. Uh, they fold in, fold out pretty nice, and then use Rottweiler's mounts right here. So pretty bitchin' little setup. We're gonna throw these on our stock hand guards, and then when we change over to some metal ones later, we'll transition that stuff, so yeah. Also, if you haven't seen it, ooh, what's this? We got all sorts of goodies here. This is a Aero Racing uh, mid-pipe, basically. It's a cat delete for the center of your bike. We're gonna put that on. Also from, you guessed it, Rottweiler Performance. Went up there and uh, spent some time with the crew, got all sorts of goodies. Ooh, and we also got the brand new power plate. Let's walk over and check that out here. So we got the brand new power plate in here. Already all oiled up and ready to rock. So got a whole nother video on this one. If you guys want to check it out, that is live already. And these will be available probably by the time you're watching this from Rottweiler. So make sure to check that stuff. Out. All right, guys. So let's dive into this thing. This is what we're starting with right here. We got these giant, huge blinkers. We got these reflectors. We got a license plate, crazy stuff. My license plate says every single Sunday. This is the one the state issued me. So don't worry about it. I'm not going to cover up my numbers like all the other crazy people on the internet. So anyway, uh, Take your car keys, motorcycle key, whatever you want. Step one's gonna be install. No, step one's gonna be remove the seat. So pull up on that, pull up on the front here and take this thing off because we need to get it out of the way. All right, so once you have the seat off, you're gonna come in here and you're gonna see all sort of electrical connections. Um, you're gonna see ACC1, ACC2. These are extra wires here for if you need to install some accessories on your bike, you need to power those. Uh, one of them switched and one of them's on all the time. Couldn't tell you which one is which. Uh, these are other things. There you go, yeah. So all these white plugs right here are gonna be the connectors for your tail light assembly. And like I said, let me grab the one here from Rottweiler, bring this in screen. Um, so this is gonna bolt on and all the connectors are already here for you. So basically we're gonna fish this up from the bottom after we remove the stock stuff and it should drop right in place. So let's go ahead and get that rock. All right guys, so we need to disconnect all these white plugs before we drop down the tail section. If you use a little flat blade screwdriver to help release these, um, 
will help out. All right, guys, before we actually fish all these wires through, I wanna make sure these things actually work here. So we're gonna hook these up and make sure everything's good to go. So they should just fit in one spot. All right, guys, so I got the ignition, or I got these three wires hooked up here. I didn't hook up the fourth one. Uh, let's see how this works here. So we're gonna turn on the ignition. We get a running light here and our tail light's not on at the moment and left turn signal, which is actually correct. And right turn signal, killer. And let's see what happens if we get the brake. It does actually get a little bit brighter here. So that is awesome. I'm not sure. All right, guys, so looking up under the back of the bike, we have four eight millimeter bolts here. Let's see if these T handles are gonna be too long, if I'll need to switch to sockets or not. So we're gonna drop all four of these. One. Probably help if you go through and clean the mud off your bike, but I'm on a time constraint today. So get this going as we do it. All right, so four bolts off. Let's see if this comes down just like that. Easy as can be. All right, so we're gonna drop all four of those out. Very cool, nice and easy. And then I'm gonna slide this grommet off of here. Easy like that. All right guys, so let me show you how to hook these wires up here. Um, there are basically these two which would fit together if you wanted them to. But what you're gonna do is you're gonna get your stock tail light plug. It's gonna go into the female of the new license plate frame here. And then the male portion here is going to go into your factory tail light um, plug just like that. That way you have this working and you have your stock tail like working. So pretty straightforward once you uh, pay attention to how they design things over at Rottweiler and realize that's as, about as easy and awesome as it can get. All right guys, so before you actually bolt this whole bracket up onto your bike, it's a good time to go ahead and get your license plate into everything, use their supplied hardware right here, and uh, get it bolted onto the bracket so that it'll uh, be done. You don't have to get underneath the bike. So one problem I am running into right here is fitting my California license plate. I believe they're the same for all the states, but I'm not sure. Um, they drop in perfectly, except where this wire is right here. Um, it doesn't want to go on flat. And I don't want to just crimp this down because I'm afraid I might cut the wire. So I'm going to notch this a little bit. You have a big spot up here uh, around the frame, so you won't be able to see it on the bike, but I'm gonna just going to notch that really quick. All right, guys, so like I said, you need to notch that out just a little bit. You can tell I took just a ugly little piece off the corner right here because I didn't have any good tools. So I took a pair of dikes, snip, snip, and then took a rat tail file, sanded it down a little bit, and uh, just went to where this thing is going to fit and not touch the wire, but also not go over the frame. So if you have something a little bit nicer, I highly recommend using that. But if you're rocking it like I am and just working out of the garage without any real tools, it's going to work just fine for you. So we're going to do that, put our bolts in, and we'll be good to go on to the next step. All right, guys, so to install these screws, it's going to be a two and a half millimeter Allen and a tiny little nut here, which I'm guessing is a six millimeter, but we got needle nose pliers and there's not a lot of torque on this. And since we used dikes earlier to cut through that stuff or flush cut pliers, whatever you want to call them, we are just going to keep rolling with the ghetto train and uh, do it this way here. So get all these started. <clears throat> all right, guys, so one little thing here, we're going to bring the tail light wire through this single opening right here. Um, you can see it there a little better. And while this one might line up better with the hole in the bike, this one's gonna allow it to come up and lay in between a little pocket like that. So that's the way to go. Do it like this. All right, guys, so let's go ahead and install this. We got our grommet on here. We're coming up through that single hole, the offset one. We are gonna fish all of these wires up through the opening in the bottom of the bike. Start pushing those four like that so we can get them out the front. And then we're gonna go ahead and get this grommet seated. Might take just a moment there to get it in the middle. Once it's in, you'll know it though. I'm gonna take two of our regular screws that we used off our old, our old system. We're gonna start these in the two front holes. One. And two started there, so this can hang. 
And then we're gonna take our two other aluminum spacers that came with the kit. These are gonna go on top of the back holes here. Dropped one already, off to a great start. And we're just gonna fish those up like that. Push that second one up in there, slide it forward, line it up with the hole, put the screw through, and get that guy started there. Just like that. Once you get them started, grab a wrench. You're gonna run those up. And remember guys, we put a little bit of Loctite on these so they're not gonna fall out. And voila, we are bolted in and that part is done now. So come up here and take a look at this guy. Looks pretty awesome. We'll get some good shots outside once she's done. All right guys, so we have our stock harness plugs here. We have the ones that come on our new bike stuff. So we're gonna reach back to the tail light connector first and we're gonna plug the tail light connector into the big male plug here, just like that. So that one's connected first. And then we're gonna plug in the male from the harness into the female from the tail light lead, like that. And then, let's see here, these have red and green connectors on them, so I'm colorblind. <laughs> um, I think this is red, but I'm not sure, so we're gonna go with that one first. And we'll hook up this one second, like that. And I'm gonna walk around, check the ignition before we button all this stuff up here and see if our turn signals work the correct way. And of course, I'm gonna go with this is red or green and not red and something backwards. So colorblind strikes again. We're gonna swap these two wires. This is why we do this stuff before we button it all up. All right, so we got off, we got left turn signal. Off, we got right turn signal. I assume I can't see. Yep, that's working perfect. And then we have a brake light as well, which uh, illuminates both the factory light here, as well as the one in the bottom of the license plate frame. So pretty bitchin' setup that Rottweiler came together with here, um, especially to keep the stock tail light. I love having that because it's bright and it doesn't look bad on this bike. So got that all set up, quick, easy install, nice solid mount, all powder coated, not gonna give us any issues. True plug and play, no uh, cutting and splicing wires for that. Just gonna tuck the rest of the wires up underneath the back of the bike and we are done with that section of the install, except for taking that stupid duct tape off my license plate. All right guys, we are out here in bright daylight, testing out this tail tidy. So we're gonna hit the brakes first. So we get illumination from the factory one as well at the bottom there. So you can see those very good. And then we'll hit the turn signal, left side and right side. So even out here in bright daylight, you can see those very, very well. Super cool product, excited to have it on the bike. All right guys, so next up on today's project list is gonna be this rubber coupler right here that just basically pushes in and goes up to uh, your reservoir for your rear brakes. Um, so Rottweiler has this part right here. It's all packaged up and pretty. These are available on the website. I'm gonna cut this out for you and show you what we have here. So very, very simple piece. Basically gonna remove this plastic portion here and it's gonna bolt in its place and it's gonna have a little keeper on the backside here that wraps around to keep this from getting kicked out by your heel or hit by any rocks, bushes, stuff like that. So I'm gonna go ahead and take our eight millimeter. Pull out one screw. And the whole master cylinder is actually gonna come loose when you guys do this, so don't be alarmed when that's moving around. You didn't screw anything up. I'm gonna use the new hardware that comes with the kit. One and two. As always, guys, whenever you have something going into metal, you wanna use a little bit of Loctite, so a little dab on each one of these bolts. Be good for what we're doing here. Two bolts are gonna go through the plate. One and two, just like that. Gonna slide these two washers over, one and two. And these will go through the master cylinder. There we go. And screw. 
screw right back into the bike like that. So I'm actually gonna grab an Allen wrench, looks like a four millimeter there. It's not gonna use the same eight millimeter because this is not recessed. So they went with a button head bolt so it doesn't destroy your gear. All right guys, so like I said, it is a four millimeter here. Gonna run these down nice and snug first. Get the first one in. And I'll snug up the second one. Everything's good, seated nice and flush. We'll give it a final tight. first one and that is how simple that is to install now we've ensured we're not going to kick this line out nothing's going to hit it you get a cool rottweiler logo on your bike as well all right guys next up on our install list for the rottweiler stuff today is going to be the removal of this shift shaft right here essentially as you shift the gears here it comes up here pivots you have an adjustable link right here that comes up to this, then this is gonna be a sensor of sorts. The shift shaft goes across the bike to the other side. And there's all sorts of little stuff. Uh, what this does is it gives you a little bit of free play right here. So obviously that's how far it moves normally. This uh, shaft is gonna go in place of this right here. And that way if you jump on this or like you land a jump or something and you have your foot on this, it's gonna break away and allow it to go down further. So it should be something you don't notice while you're riding, but will uh, just kind of give you a little extra safety in case something happens. Uh, out while you're riding and something smashes this down so you don't break everything. All right guys, so step one is to remove your factory shift shaft. Uh, that is a perfect fit. So this is a T30, it's a Torx bit. So we're gonna go ahead and take the bottom one off first. One. And two, so that is our stock shift shaft right there. And let me open up the one here from Rottweiler. So looking at these side by side, uh, the Rottweiler one looks sh slightly longer out of the package. And also you're not gonna have any adjustment on this one. The factory one, you have a turnbuckle here in the center. You can break loose and adjust this uh, length. Uh, to do this now, you're gonna need to remove this screw and change the spline to make it go up and down. So not, not the coolest part of it, but uh, should work just fine. <clears throat> All right guys, so now that we have that removed, we're gonna go ahead and install our Rottweiler Trans Saver. So we have new hardware with this. They are these uh, cap head screws. So we're gonna start this first one by hand here. A couple threads on there, one and two. And we're gonna use a five millimeter Allen to get this run in a little ways. You can hold the shifter to keep it in place while you're doing this. All right, and then the second screw is gonna go in the front here. And like I mentioned before, you're gonna to wanna to put your spacer on the back side of this one. So that'll line up perfect right there for you. Give that a nice snug, tight finish. Not overly tight, but good and snug. All right, so you'll be able to shift up like normal here, guys. And when you go to shift down, if you put any extra weight on this, ah, see how that kind of breaks away? It takes a lot of pressure to do it. You won't even notice it while you're riding, but uh, just in case something happens, you land a boot on there, you're not gonna go ahead and break all this linkage stuff up here. So cool product from Rottweiler. All right, guys, so you are wanna, gonna wanna hop on your bike here. Remember I said this was a little bit different angle than it was before, because of different length. So in the factory position, this shifter is gonna be a little bit higher than it was before. So it's not uncomfortable to get to. I actually usually run my little higher on my other bikes. So, and uh, yeah, just under regular shifting, it doesn't feel weird, but unless you really push on it, maybe when you're looking for first gear at a stoplight or something, you'll be able to feel it. But besides that, yeah, this thing's gonna rock. I'm excited to have it on the bike and anything to keep it stronger and last and longer is a good thing in my book.